All right, good day, students. Hope you're uh, hope you're doing well today. Hope things are finding you in a good spot today with whatever you're doing. Uh, today we're going to be doing some uh, proportions as we've been doing in the past, uh, some equivalent fractions. But now we're going to put them on a graph. So don't let that concern you. I'm just going to show you here how that's done. But uh, but just remember, please remember that uh, if you ever need extra help, I'm always available. Come in anytime. Uh, you can rewatch this video. You can. Go to the internet, many places you can go. If as I talk about graphing proportions, doesn't make sense. Um, this is just one quick snippet way to hopefully learn it. And it's, it's kind of a smaller way than if you were in class. So I recognize it's not as, as good a way to learn it. But uh, here we go. In graphing proportions, I first of all want to uh, remind you, review a little bit about what graphing is. In math, when we graph, we have these, these two lines. We call them both, they're an axis. This is an axis. And we can talk more. You can look up the meaning of the word axis. It just means it's a point centered around what we're talking about. The line that goes straight across this first axis is called the x-axis. And the line that goes up and down, that goes vertical, is the y-axis. This one horizontal like the horizon, and this one vertical um, like the y. -bit. And here's how it works. They're just number lines. So just think of a number line going straight across. That's, that's all this is, just the number line. One, two, three, four. I've got negatives one, negative two, three, negative four, negative six. See, it's... Just the number line. Guess what this is? Ha! It's just another number line. That's it. So we've got the number line going here as well. We have positive going up. And we've got negative. I'll put it on this side. Negative going down. When we're graphing in math, that's what we're graphing. And we graph what's called ordered pairs. We graph, you know, there's a first number and a second number. The first number is always x. And the second number is always Y, just like the alphabet. So let's say I want to graph the number 3, 2. I find 3 on the X axis. That's right there. I find 2 on the Y axis. So 3, because 3, and then 2 on the Y axis. And then I find where they meet. And that is the point right there. That's the point 3, comma 2. 3, comma 2. That's that point. But if I had the point uh, negative eight comma one, find negative eight on the x-axis. Whoa, I'm coming all the way over here. Negative eight on the x-axis. And then I find one on the y-axis, that's right here. So negative eight and one, that's this point right there. You find where the points line up with those numbers on the number line. That's negative eight, one. So there we go. Just a little quick synopsis of graphing. What if I gave you the number zero, zero? We call that the origin. Where do you think that number is? Where is zero, zero? Zero on this line, zero on that line, right there. That's the origin where they meet. Well, why have I done this? Because today, just kind of forget about all this right here. We are going to use this part of what we call the Cartesian plane, or the xy axis. We're going to use this part in graphing proportions. So make sure you've got this, click pause, um, write that down so you can understand and remember how to graph. Ready? You've hit pause, right? All right then. Here we go. Let's take, uh, let's take ourselves a proportion. Let's take, uh, let's take, 2 equals 3, a proportion means you make another fraction that's equal to it. And now I'm just going to write a whole bunch of equal fractions. Um, let's see, that's the same thing as uh, what? Uh, 10. Uh, that's the same thing as 10 over 15. It's the same thing as uh, 6 over 9. It's the same thing as... Uh, Let's see, that's the same thing as 12 over 18. Those are all equivalent fractions. 
equivalent fractions. Now what we do, if you remember from a previous lesson, we talk about y over x. Y over x. So if we take these numbers on the y-axis and plot them with these numbers on the x-axis, then what have we got? We've got ourselves an ordered pair. So here's what it looks like. This first one, y over x. So 2 on the y-axis and 3 on the x-axis. That's this point right here. That's the point uh, 3, comma 2, because this is the you had graph the x number first. Now where's the number 6, 4? Well, it would be 4, 5, 6, and the number 4. So there's 6, 4. Then I can do 10, 15, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then, well, I'm sorry, 15, 10, you do the X number first. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 3, 4, 8, 15. I'm way, I'm way somewhere out here. The point 9, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then if I go up 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, there's that one right there. Now I've got, now I've got 6 there. Well, you're seeing what's happening. You can see that a straight line is starting to occur. And that straight line is our proportion. And you'll notice I'm going to go right straight through the origin. I'm just going to write If I had a ruler here, I'd actually make a straight line. It is a straight line. Whenever we graph proportions, it's a straight line because it's the same number up and over, up and over, up and over. Up and over. Over and over again, it's a straight line. So that is our, if I would have graphed 12, 18, it would have shown up on this line. So we just, we graph the fraction. When you graph proportions, remember this, write this down. It's always a straight line. And you can write straight line neater than I'm writing it. But it's always a straight line. And it always goes through the origin. It always stops right there. It doesn't go up a few and stops right here because that straight line is all. What if the, what if it was like this? What if it was like this? It's always going to go through the origin. And how do you know which ordered pairs to use? It's on the fraction y over x. That's uh, that's the concept for today. Give it a shot. See what you know. See what you think. See if you can do it. Watch it again. Go to the internet. Um, in the textbook, the textbook can help you. But I'll tell you, just graphing proportions. That's it. Hope it, uh, hope it makes sense. And, uh, and just remember, math class, it's the only class that counts.